Risk taking. But, yeah, I mean, risk taking. <laughs> risk taking is really important. But I also think that this is the time where what I'm looking for, I know, is very different from what other people are looking for. That I know for sure. I look at a woman's resume and I look at her life experience. A lot of the times we're just looking at resumes. But when I'm talking about a woman who we want to deliver, perform, do work, be smart, go fast, go far, I'm looking for like, how many other jobs do you know how to juggle, right? Because when people would ask me, how do you do all of this so well? How did you build three businesses while going through a divorce with two little kids? Uh, I'm a mom with two little kids, let's start there, right? And that has value. Like, if I could learn how to manage a house and doctor's appointments and all kind of little forms for school and everything else, I can translate things to, to more complicated, complex forms, right? So I think I look at the lived experience of someone, I think now more than ever, especially as I'm here at Digital Undivided as CEO, um, I will say for those of you who do not know or who cannot imagine, I'm running a nonprofit. It's not but, sexy. It's wait, not only is it not sexy, but let me just blow everybody's mind. I say, but yours is. I say that. Well, I don't know. Is it is mine sexy? Well, yours is sexy. It sounds too. like it is. Oh, <laughs> we'll be sexy together. All right, but um, you know, it's funny because I say this. I say this with a lot of love and transparency to even our big funders now at Digital Undivided. I say I'm not a nonprofit person. I'm not. Not a nonprofit person, I'm not a nonprofit leader. I just happen to be leading a nonprofit right now. And they were okay with me saying that because when I say that, I say, but what I am is a for profit person. I really like making money. I love making money. And it's good because our organization's mission is to lead the global shift towards inclusive innovation and entrepreneurship for black and Latino women. So my job is not to help all these women go out and be nonprofits. That's not solving any problem. <laughs> my job is to help these women go out and be for profit enterprises. And so it just happens to be that we do it in this nonprofit structure. But my goodness, I'm talking in, in millions and billions every day because that is what I want to see black and Latino women be able to achieve. And so when I'm looking for someone to join our team, when I'm looking for someone to make my own investments in, whether it's my own portfolio, I have a, a women-led SPAC right now trading on the New York Stock Exchange, a consumer SPAC called Athena, ACAQ is our ticker. We have not obviously identified our target or de-SPAC, 